Hey guys, and welcome to my 34 week pregnancy update. It's been about eight weeks since I have updated you guys on my pregnancy and a lot has changed. I am in my third trimester and nearly in my eighth, well I am in my eighth month, I'm nearly eight months pregnant. So, let's get started. definitely experienced a lot more back pain. Sciatic pain, back pain, hip pain, 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 pain. I definitely feel very pregnant. The worst pain that I've probably felt was just probably like five days ago. We went um, fishing and we we're out in the sun for quite a while and I got sunburned just horrendously up and down my arms and I woke up multiple times throughout the night on Saturday night just my my arms ached and I couldn't figure out why I was like did I use muscles that I haven't used for a while since we were fishing what is it and I came to realize later on Sunday that I was just swelling from being sunburned like just mass amounts of swelling in my arms to the point where I was just like in tears and I have learned my lesson to not get sunburned <laughs> I will not ever again while I'm pregnant get sunburned so I've been extra careful, extra, extra sunscreen, just staying on top of that because that was the most miserable thing. Um, swelling. I'm definitely experiencing it now that the weather's getting a lot warmer. My feet, my hands, my legs, I'm definitely swelling if I'm on my feet too much and if I'm out in the heat too much. But as long as I stay on top of my water, I can keep it more or less to a minimum. The one thing that I will just get out of the way. It's my least favorite thing to talk about, but I know everyone's curious and I'm always curious because it almost makes me feel better when I hear what people's weight gain is during pregnancy. <laughs> so I have gained a total of 40 pounds. I am definitely over where I should be, <laughs> but it's more or less normal for me. I'm a little bit more than I was with Graydon at this point in my pregnancy. Um, me and my doctor talked about that today. Um, I'm about five pounds more heavier than I was at this point with Graydon. So I'm just kind of still doing the same things, just taking it easy on what I eat. But my weight gain has been pretty like steady, non-existent. I stayed at the same weight for about three weeks and then had a big jump, just like over a three day period. It was like, boom, four pounds. And I was like, what the heck? <laughs> I gained four pounds and I haven't changed anything. I haven't been eating differently. So that was not a fun weight gain, but to be honest, that's really like since got in the past like five weeks, I've only put on four pounds. So for me, during this pregnancy, that's really good. That's a good weight gain for me. And then going from that to, I haven't gained any weight since then, and that was almost two weeks ago. I feel pretty good about that. I'm definitely feeling the baby more. I have um, an anterior placenta, which means it's on the front right here. So through the beginning or the middle of my pregnancy, I didn't feel the baby as much like I'd feel her kicks and jabs here and there, but I didn't feel her as much as I probably felt my other kids. But as she's gotten bigger and as I have gotten more pregnant, I feel her all the time. Her favorite times to be awake and moving are between 5.30 and 7.30 in the morning and 10 and 12 at night. <laughs> so. Those are her times. She is always awake then. Every night when I want to go to sleep, I usually try and go to bed about 10.30 is when I get tired, but then I'm awake for another hour, hour and a half just because she is moving so much. And it's, to be honest, it's very uncomfortable because the way she's moving and it's just, it's very uncomfortable. Aaron thinks it's really cool because he can feel it and you can see it and there's just a little alien in my belly. The kids really love it too. They think it is just, amazing that mommy has this like thing in her belly that moves the first time I had great like feel her move like when she was like really moving and you could tell that it was a body part he got a little freaked out and he just kind of like did a really nervous giggle and then like backed away and was like oh okay but now they just think it's a really fun thing to be able to feel the baby moving in mommy's belly I have been experiencing a lot of Braxton Hicks the past probably two weeks Pretty much every single night when I sit down after dinner, I have it about four to six Braxton Hicks throughout an hour to two hour period. 
So I'm like right on the cusp where my doctor's like, well, if you're feeling them a little too much, then I want you to come in and get checked. So right now they're okay, but she is a little bit nervous that I'm having so many, but not to the point of concern unless I go in and they're turning into labor. So right now, just a ton of Braxton Hicks. I have had a couple moments where I'm like, oh my goodness, like these contractions like hurt, but so far it hasn't turned into anything. We haven't had any hospital visits and hopefully it stays that way. That's all I've got for you guys this week. I will end with a belly shot and I will see you guys next time. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the front of my belly and the side. Did you get it? Did you get it? Yeah, <laughs>